Minnesota took a major step today to banning the use of handheld cell phones while driving. The Minnesota Senate passed a hands-free bill this afternoon. It means Minnesota would join 16 other states with laws limiting drivers to hands-free use of their phones. Esme Murphy is at the Capitol in St. Paul right now. She joins us. And Esme, I know that there are families who have been pushing for a bill like this for years. Absolutely, Amelia. Hands-free bills have been proposed for the past 10 years at the Minnesota legislature, including last year, and they have gone absolutely nowhere. What a difference a year makes. The Minnesota Senate overwhelmingly voted in favor of a hands-free bill, meaning it is very likely that some kind of distracted driving bill will become law in Minnesota later this year. Family and friends of those victims were emotional. Every time we come, every time we testify, we relive the moment that our loved ones were taken away because of one person's behavior that could take less than 30 seconds. Danielle Wishard Tudor's brother, Jean Claude, was killed by a distracted driver in Minatrista in 2017. She was overwhelmed by the Senate vote. I'm never more happier than anything in all my life. Besides wishing I could have my brother back for his children's sake. VJ Dixit's 19 year old daughter, Shreya, was killed in 2007. It's not done yet, but yes, it's an extremely, extremely good step in the right direction. The debate lasted more than three hours. Senator Tory Westrom from Elbow Lake said the bill doesn't take into account rural concerns. There's no balance or reasonableness or difference between rural areas and heavily populated areas with lots of traffic. But in the end, Republican Senate leaders from outstate muscled the bill through. Senator Scott Newman of Hutchinson is the Senate author. Uh, all I'm asking for in this bill, just put your phone down, put your eyes back on the road where they belong. And in the end, I know we're going to save lives. Penalties for violating the proposed law would include fines similar to those for a traffic ticket. Now, the House and Senate bills are slightly different. The Senate actually today passed a measure that would allow a cell phone to be tucked into an hijab, the headscarf that many Muslim women wear. Now, these two bills will eventually head to a conference committee where the details will be worked out. And Governor Tim Walz has said he would sign a hands-free bill. All right, Esme, thank you.